G'day you rotten lot, welcome back to the channel, I'm sitting at the desk today, and on the desk I have got the Maris Enzo, now I know this is a really old pedal, I've had it kicking around for a long time, but there is a lot of stuff that this pedal does, uh, it's a bit of a sleeper, and a lot of people don't really understand what this pedal is capable of, so today I'm just going to talk you through the delays, and in a separate video I'll do the filter separate video i'll do all the other tricks like the pitch shifting and the ring modulation because this pedal is incredibly powerful it doesn't just make cool synthesizer noises it does amazing things so i'm going from the enzo through the walrus audio slower and into uh hx effects on uh my mac today uh, hx native and i sound like this <laughs> So, all the delay settings are the alternate functions. So, first of all, if you hold down this alternate button here and turn this knob, it says how loud the delay is. So it's all the way down. Again, holding the knob, turn it up, then you get delays. Now what makes this so special, this delay, is it actually has two lines. You can have it in single, you can have it in double. There it is in single mode. Or if you go past the 12 o'clock mark while you're holding the alt knob, it splits it into two for you. It gives you one on the left and one on the right. If you've got headphones on, you're going to be absolutely loving this right now. It's absolutely magic. Now, the other thing it does is you can add modulation to it, the repeats. There's an extreme example of modulation for you. Now the filter also works on the repeats. So if you don't want those pristine, super clean uh, repeats, you can knock the, all the highs off it with the filter. And you can adjust the resonance with the alt button and that knob. I like to have the resonance down at about halfway. Then, as if that's not enough, you can also adjust the length with this knob and the alt button. So hold the alt button in, Bring it almost all the way down, it should just give you like one repeat. Two. See if I can knock it off a bit more. Still two. Yeah, two's the lowest I can get. Oh, it's actually one repeat, but it's actually one repeat for each delay line. So if I knock that back to mono, it should still uh, just give us one. That's pretty cool. And then all the way up, 
is infinite repeats. And then if that's not enough, the tap tempo button gives you your tap tempo. Now when you've got an expression pedal uh, in there, you can actually set a toe position and a heel position and it remembers it. So let's set up my heel position now. So wherever I turn the knobs to, it will remember. So we'll set it up long, we'll set it up super bright. And we will also set it up with full modulation. Then in the toe position, we'll take all the modulation out. We'll take some of the top ends off and we'll roll it back to just a couple of repeats. So now you can hear we've got one setting there and one setting there. It's super magic, it's super flexible. So the Maris Enzo is actually a guitar synthesizer pedal and it does a fantastic job of that, but it also has all these extra little features built into it. So that was all the delay stuff that you can muck around with in full stereo. Um, or in uh, mono, there's heaps of different ways you can do a bit of modulation and also expression pedal control. So next I'm going to show you the, all the pitch shift you can do. But uh, anyway, I hope you found that useful. If you've got, the reason I'm showing you this pedal again is because these are really cheap now. Since the Boss SY1 and SY200 and all that came out, uh, these have got really cheap and they're just fantastic. And in my opinion, no offense to Boss, I think they do a better job of the synth side of things. And they certainly have a lot more features in it than the Boss pedals as well. So uh, if you can snap one of these up second hand, I highly, highly recommend it. It's heaps of fun to play around with and really is a magical pedal. Uh, see you in the next video. If you got this far, thank you. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. See you in the next video. Bye.